Hi guys, Kimmy Hickman here again, and today I'll be showing you how to uh, replace a hard drive on a PlayStation if it's just showing up with heaps and heaps of different errors. So we got a PlayStation, and it's um, it had heaps of different errors. So basically, what I did is um, I had to go through and try and update and try and check all the error codes and. Um, do everything to try and get rid of all these runtime errors, which are pretty much every time you try to play a game, it would come up with a different error. Now, what I've found is um, sometimes some of these PlayStations that get brought into me or um, that come up with all these different error codes aren't actually related to the PlayStation itself, but rather the hard drive. And so today I took one of the hard drives out of a PlayStation and I found it had a Toshiba hard drive in it from maybe a laptop or something. Now, while Toshiba can be a good brand, it doesn't run as fast as, say, a Samsung, like this one here, out of an old, um, an old larger model. So, basically, the Samsung that we've got here can run processes a lot faster than the Toshiba drive. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this drive here, which is the old um, the, the old fat PS4 model, take it out of there, chuck it into this caddy, this is a caddy obviously, uh, fits into a slim, two different style of, um, of mounting caddies. Uh, just got to take the four screws out, bump bump, and put it in and replace it. So to get started, I'll um, jump up over to the GoPro and start doing it. further guys you're going to need to get a uh, USB make sure it's formatted to FAT32 uh, or if you're on an iMac make sure it's formatted to EXFAT. Uh, what I'll do is I'll start from the beginning and I will show you how to do that. So I'm operating on an iMac at the moment so I'll just go ahead and put the USB drive into the computer. Boom. Now, the reason that we have to get a USB drive and format it to FAT32 is because we've put a new hard drive into the PlayStation. Now, yes, it did come out of an old hard drive, an old PS4 hard drive, 
but each PS4 is paired to a specific uh, to itself. So if you get a hard drive out of a fat PS4 and put it into another fat PS4 or another slim PS4 or a pro PS4, it's going to format the drive completely and reinstall a new version because the onboard processor is, is linked directly to the hard drive. It was the same with the PS3s as well. So you couldn't just take a hard drive from another PS4 and put it into another PS4 because it just didn't work like that. You just, or you always need to go back through the process. So first things first, we've got our USB drive in the computer. So we're gonna go, we've got it here. Um, I'm not sure if it's formatted, so we're going to reformat it. So basically just go up to search, look for disk utility, open that. Once that's open, navigate to the drive that you want to. So we've got this one here. So we're going to navigate to this one. It's already formatted in FAT32, which is good. But what we'll do for um, all the purposes of these how-to videos and whatnot, we'll erase the drive. The format's already MS-DOS FAT32, but we have to do it in iMac model, iMac version. So. We'll just do that, and while that's doing its thing, oh look, that was quick. Done, 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 and we'll just make sure, yep, yep, it's all in fat, it's all in fat. Done, done, done. Now, now that we're in fat 32, we can go ahead and start putting all the programs on that we need. So, to start with, we are going to grab No Name, go here, open it up, right. Then I will navigate to my PS4 files, which are here. Open that up. And I've got two different four files there. So one is a, a, one of the latest PS4 updates and the other one is a reinitialization. So this, this is what you do when, when your PS4 is spitting out many error codes, you've tried updating, tried doing everything, you do the reinitialization or you're swapping hard drives out. So you're putting a new hard drive in. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna put that in there, but beforehand, I'm gonna show you where to find it. So if we just open up our new tab. to load in, it's going to take a little while, and then once it's loaded in and it's in the correct folder called update, we're going to have to rename it to PS4 update with none of the, the one, you know, get rid of the brackets and the one there. Um, and that, yeah, and that, that should be pretty easy. So once that's finished doing its thing, we'll be doing that. In the meantime, I'm going to set the PS4 up, ready to turn on. So where are we? <laughs> Grab me power cord, on. Grab me HDMI. Bam. Set up the Gupro. Mm, oh, I need some So for this, when you go to do it, you're going to need your obviously you're going to need your PlayStation. You're going to need a PlayStation. You're going to need your 
Um, micro USB that connects your controller. You're going to need to have an original PS4 controller as well. Connect connect your controller to your PlayStation. You're going to need the USB with all the files on it. Um, and then you're going to need to enter safe mode. So when we enter safe mode, we hold down the power button until it beeps and then turns off, then hold it down again until it beeps and then the uh, safe mode will come up. Um, but some, but usually when you put a new hard drive in, it'll just automatically boot to the safe drive. So for that, we'll grab our PS4 controller and our uh, USB cord, which is just here. Oh, it's connected to another controller, so let's just use that one. So go ahead and plug that in there. Give me mouse. Still loading, still loading. Yeah, so they've got some pretty good um, tips and things on the website itself. They've got um, files for your PS3 and your Vita. Um, some of the update features tells you, you know, deals with system performance. You know, every time that your game crashes and you send a report to Sony, they look into it and they think, oh, I wonder why it did that. And they try to do their best to figure figure that out for you and update it. And they put heaps of different we um, updates on it all the time. I'll be doing another video later showing you how to use the uh, share factory and edit videos on your PlayStation just in case you got like an epic, epic win in Fortnite or you just ended up doing the major of all major run through uh, run throughs on Crash Bandicoot or something and you're like, oh my God, I wish I could share that. Well, now you can. It's super simple, super easy um, and we'll be doing that next. So we, if we come back to our, I've got about five seconds left. Too bad. So what we're going to do is drag that into the update, go there, get rid of our little curly brace one, and you just want it to say PS4 update dot PUP. Uh, PUP stands for potentially unwanted program or something to that effect, um, but it relates directly to the PSP and it's an executable file. So as soon as it's installed and ready, it runs itself. So what we'll do is we'll eject that. Grab our, grab our USB back out. Plug the USB into the USB port and I'll see you back onto the GoPro.
one PlayStation fully repaired and software bugs all wiped and got rid of. So this console had multiple problems and I narrowed it down to just being a hardware, hard drive problem. So someone had gone and put the, um, gone to upgrade it or had a problem with their original hard drive and put the Toshiba in there. Uh, but it just couldn't handle the amount of processing that was required for the PlayStation 4. So we went and just whipped it out, put the new hard drive in there. Um, she's working a treat. She's been playing now for oh, four hours, four or five hours. So it's been constantly running. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions or um, you want any support or you want any help with any of your gaming or electronics or anything, feel free to give us a message or check us out on Facebook at Kiwi Hitman, uh, facebook.com slash Kiwi Hitman or on our YouTube and also don't forget that we've got merchandise and um, different consoles and tech gadgets on our website shopkiwihitman.com so feel free to head along over there and um, get that sorted or if you have anything that you want to send in feel free to send it in just give us a message. Alright, see you.